The owner complained that this dog has been vomiting and has no appetite. Its gum, skin and eyes are yellow. What could be wrong? This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Tupayo Vets. 21st of September 2018, 6.40pm. This is a 10-year-old femur sterilized mini schnauzer, which uh, came in with a complaint of uh, vomiting six days ago for three days. So the doctor did a physical examination, which shows that the dog is having jaundice. See the eyes clearer? Yes, clearer. A bit yellowish. Mm. How about the conjunct level? Also open bigger, yeah. open bigger. Uh, no, the sclera, sclera. Yeah, a bit yellowish, you can see. Yeah, okay. Okay, then gums. The gums? The gums, no, definitely yellowish. Uh, this one definitely, okay. The, some more, the other side. Open big, widely the gums, yeah. The lips, actually. Lips, you can see much better. Yeah, yeah there's a jaundice. So the skin, yeah. Mm, so the, that's the reason the owner brings in right John this as well as vomiting. Okay, so test done. The test done is for thick fever. Only the two out of four. Heartworm is not counted. Heartworm. The first one is heartworm negative, but the second one is what? Echinus. Echinus is negative. The third Lyme. one, Lyme, Lyme disease, is negative. Now the fourth and the fifth. Anaplasma. Anaplasma antibody is positive, two lines. And the other one, baby here. Babesia, two lines. Antibody is two lines. So this confirms that the dog has a thick fever. Was there any fever no. on, on examination? No. no. Okay, then the injection given is this one. Just show the uh, how much was given. 0 0.4 ml. Mm. Let's see. Subcut. Subcut, yeah, okay. Then the drips are given. Blood test was taken. One bottle finished already? Hartman. Hartman, yeah. So now we continue with dextrous saline. No, uh, leave it, leave it there, yeah. Okay, leave it, leave it. Any more other things? And just vomited again. They open the uh, Health screening blood test. The result will come out tomorrow morning. Okay, come. Open up again. So there was some vomiting. How many, did you vomit early on? No. Pull up, pull up, pull up. So there was some vomiting again just now, just a few seconds ago there. Eh? Whitish. Eh? Normally it's due to liver, liver, liver disorder. Yeah. And there was the main complaint, vomiting. There was another video where the dog came in. Do you know when the dog came in? Uh, early on? How long was it? Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, it came in for for the complaint of what? Not eating. Not eating, and uh, the test shows positive for anaplasma. Then yeah. the dog was given the injection of it, the same one in the dog. And the uh, treatment. And it, did it recover? Yes, the owner said it gets better. Mm, it got better, but it, it was advised to come back for a second injection uh, one week later or two weeks later, but the owner didn't come back. What was the blood test result? See, see the blood it test result. It has anemia, mm. low red blood cell. Just show the blood test results. So. That was three, three weeks ago, yeah. That's just a hematology. We see the hematology. Hematology. Was there any anemia? It was on August 2018, yeah, just circle it, yeah. circle, circle, that's a two, okay, uh, the total white cell count was okay, and what is this one, another one? For the first time they came in. Same one or not? Same, different one? Different one. The 15th of August. We did 15 August. That was the time when he had this positive anaplasma. And it shows very severe anemia. And also low platelets count. Then uh, 
that was 15 right then another blood test was taken 10 days later on the 25th still having the same anemia and low low uh, platelet but the dog went back with medication and also the injection of this uh, immune dox she's supposed to come back about uh, one, one week or two weeks later but she didn't turn up now the dog has uh, more severe form of injection, uh, infection, Babesia, and what's that, the other one? Anaplasma. Anaplasma, yeah. Early on, it was only faintly anaplasma positive. That's in, this in another video. So now we have to wait and see whether the dog will recover or not. Today is day two of inpatient. September 22, 2018, Saturday. This miniature is now the... How many years old? 10 years old, female speed. Mm. Came in actually, when was that? Three weeks ago, right? Yes. Three weeks ago, with the complaint of not eating. And actually, the tongue was very pale at that time. Eh? So I suspect thick fever. And uh, blood test shows very low red cell count and hemoglobin and platelet at that time, uh, two weeks ago. And uh, the test kit shows anaplasma positive, but maybe say was negative at that time, three weeks ago. So I give the dog imidox injection, and uh, although the anime didn't, didn't clear so fast, the owner said the dog was okay eating. I did ask the owner to come back again to uh, have a second injection of any dogs, which is recommended uh, for, for such cases. But the owner didn't come back. Then uh, yesterday, the owner came back to, to tell us that uh, the dog was vomiting frequently at least three days in a row or, or for the last six days. And as you can see, it's not very obvious now, but uh, the sclera was yellowish yesterday before treatment. Now let's see the sclera. It's not so obvious now. But the blood test shows liver disorder and uh, anemia. Now the gums are not uh, obviously jaundiced, but the blood test will show that. Uh, there was jaundice. Now you see here the, the, the come. Let's see the blood test. The blood test results. You can see the liver enzymes are really high. Uh, 443 for ALT and uh, 258 for AST. So that uh, confirms jaundice. Yesterday the skin was yellowish. Not not very yellow, but it was yellowish and it's, and the. Uh, Sclera was slightly yellow. Now we look at the kidney. Uh, urea is 3.4. And uh, let's see this one. Creatinine is normal. So there was no kidney problem. Now the interesting thing is the hematology. Hematology shows anemia. Low hemoglobin, low red cell count. And thrombocytopenia, low platelets. At the same time, there is a leukocytosis. Total red cell count went up. Neutrophil percentage went up, normally 60 to 70 percent, and here the absolute number also went up. Normally, is maximum is 11, is 29.3. So overall, this dog has a bacterial infection plus tick fever. Now, tick fever is confirmed by testing the the kit which we we showed yesterday. The other video, the test kit shows uh, anaplasma, antibodies positive, plus Babesia canis pos positive. But uh, the owner has taken back the test kit, so I'm not able to show the test kit. But it's, it's there in the other video. So this is the day two. Is, is the dog eating? Dog is not eating. Is it? Is it vomiting? It's still vomiting. Yeah. So vomiting actually due to 
to the hepatitis. Uh. So you can stop the vomiting by injection, but but uh, it's, it's, the cost is due to that. So you still have to give drips and the nutrients and antibiotics. Forward your queries to the following numbers or email or visit the website at thebiovets.com. Thank you.